Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to Sunshine State. Yeah, after four cloudy and depressing days in New York, I thought it's a little bit time for some sun. And now I'm on the way to downtown and later Ybor City. And actually, I don't know why I'm wearing long pants here. It's super warm and sunny as you can see. So see you there. Oh, I'm in Hyde Park by the way, which is more like a living area and I had such a good sleep because it was so quiet uh, until someone was moving in the house uh, Yeah, like uh, construction in uh, US is not the best I mean the first night in, in New York I was waking up several times because some windows here in US are so crappy I mean they haven't developed since like since the first settlers uh, discovered America I guess they are so shitty and crappy like you hear everything like there's no window well, there's a, such a nice area here and oh a palm cool all right see you in downtown Tampa I guess nobody's walking here, like, never. Yeah, that's what I, I think, uh, just a few people are here walking on the streets. Most people are using the car and you barely see pedestrians here. Let's see how it is in the more busy places. Okay, this is the famous Tampa River walk where you can see a lot of stuff I heard haven't done it yet but we will see yeah Tampa doesn't really appear like a big city because there's no one on the streets like just a few people but it's a strange feeling actually but maybe it's also because it's Sunday and it's uh, quite early. Just have seen a few people in restaurants, but you see, no one, no one's walking. Strange. Where are all the Tampa people? Who knows that? No people. Maybe they are in church. Who knows? At least some music is coming out of the church. So I guess all Tampa people are Christ Christians, maybe. And everybody is spending their time on Saturday, Sunday morning in church. You guys just had some food for the little hunger. And since I'm kind of a super whitey, I want to get some sunscreen. Yeah, I think that costs me a tremendous amount of dollars, but that's the way it is. Better than getting a bad sunburn. Because when I don't use it, I usually end up with that. Yeah, the scooter is definitely the best way to get around in Tampa and see everything, enjoying the sun. All right, I'm in Ybor City and since this is the cigar capital, maybe try a cigar. Even if I've never smoked a cigar in my life or smoke some other things. Yeah, let's see if it's something for me. All right, guys, I'm here in, oh, what's this place called? Tavanero. 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 Tavanero cigar. Okay, and I might get my first cigar here. So, what what, what would you recommend for someone who've never well, smoked a cigar you, before? To get into this lifestyle, Yeah. I don't want to be too aggressive because you get scared of. Okay. So let's start with something really mild. Now the question is, how will you identify yourself better with a regular shaped cigar 
for a torpedo cigar. How would you think you would look better in the mirror? I think with this one with here. With this one? Yes. Right. That was easy. <laughs> and we're gonna light up right now, huh? Okay. Uh, well, what's your What's your most expensive cigar? Most expensive right here, thirty five dollars. It's been aged for um, five years, and okay. it's a really complex blend. It's okay. uh, Mexican San Andres wrapper, uh -huh. Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, and Colombia. Okay. On um, the, the these prices are for a whole box. Boxes, yes. Okay. Boxes. Yes, okay. And and uh, uh, how, how long can I keep it before smoke it without cooling or what? Uh, If you keep it inside of your your um, hotel room. Yeah. By by the bathroom. Uh huh. Forever. Okay. Well, because I maybe bring one for my friends okay. because he really We have likes to. Nice. A uh, nice box of 10 and uh -huh. two. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna try this one. And I'm curious if it's something for me. Oh, and you also roll the cigars here. Okay, so so my my, my first cigar. Oh, it's a little bit sweet on, on the lips. Okay. All right. How do you roll? For how long do you, do you roll cigars? Oh, oh no, English. Oh, and I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. No, no, español. No, español. No. Yo no English. Oh, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm destroying everything here. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, thank you very much. Gracias, muchas gracias. <laughs> okay, I hit my first cigar. Now I, feel, now I feel a little bit weird, but I like the thing that you just sit down, do nothing, watching people. That's what I actually miss in New York. Just do nothing, pay attention to the small things. And I think this is a good area to do that. Yeah, when you're here, you can smell the cigars and coffee and yeah, here are people. And yeah, he, here's where the life goes on. fourth time I think he's driving in circles just to show his car <laughs> but it's a really cool car oh, what else you can see is roosters and hens walking around in the streets like wild wondering where they come from who's this guy Jose Martin Come on, make a sound. Okay. Then not. 
Yeah, as you can see, there's nothing going on besides the main road in Ybor city, at least on a Sunday. Like, there's literally no one. I'm completely alone here. Such a weird city. Strange. Okay, see you if I find something interesting. What I think about Tempa so far is I love it. It's very laid back. Of course, there are no people. <laughs> no. I'm curious how it will be tomorrow when it's a normal weekday. And we will see. Maybe there's more going on. And see you tomorrow.